Good morning and welcome to a Tuesday morning thought for the day. It's lovely to have you with us and our reading today is Psalm 133. It's a nice short one and this is what it says. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion, for there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. So this psalm has been particularly uh, obvious, I think, maybe, uh, over the last weekend, as we've all celebrated the Jubilee and the Queen's life uh, amazing achievement of being Queen for 70 years. The whole country and lots of the world as part of the Commonwealth has come together to support and honour this remarkable woman and her achievements. And I think this really epitomises this first verse, that it has been good and pleasant. Maybe it needs to be a bit more strong than that. Maybe wonderful and beautiful, as some other translations put it. But it's nice, it's brilliant, it's good when people live together in unity. And so I thought a very applicable psalm. But it often takes uh, an event, whether good or bad, to do this. We don't live in a specially united world, you might think. Uh, it just takes things like this, or like the Olympics, uh, or the England doing well in the Euros last year, to bring people together to live in unity. But as Christians, we have our faith that unites us. Across all denominational and physical borders, uh, the faith that we hold and our longing to see people transformed by Jesus' love is common to all of us. Even if we worship differently, even if we think differently about uh, specific parts of scripture or theology, our core faith unites us as a, gr a group of believers and of Christians. And so the thing that I sort of guess stood out to me about this psalm was not only the fact that it's good and pleasant to live in unity with uh, one another, that Christians all have this shared vision that we can dwell in unity together, despite differences uh, or disagreements. But this last verse, verse 3, that the Lord bestows his blessing on those that live in unity. Uh, and you can get into the theology of uh, verse 2 a little bit. Uh, I think I didn't quite understand what was going on. I needed to dig in a bit more. But um, essentially that where there is unity, God's blessing and protection will follow. And so hopefully this shared vision of the Christian faith can unite us all as Christians, not just um, here in the UK, but across the world. Like with the Jubilee, we can all unite. So even though we might think differently, even though we might disagree, we can work together um, united in faith and vision as I've already said so that God's blessing and protection will follow us uh, yeah there you go some thoughts on Psalm 33 have a lovely day and uh, we'll see you soon bye bye